Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we are actually doing a speed build. I am not much of a builder, but sometimes I like to dabble in some things, like building or whatever. But this house is actually, it actually looks familiar to you guys. This is actually one of the homes that I built in my Eagle SL LP. Um, this is where Eden, Kai, and their daughter Ivy lives. I actually am doing a, re a rendition of it, and I mentioned that in one of my videos. I think it was in part 7 of my LP. That's when I mentioned that I was actually renovating and expanding the home so I can have a space for Serenity and Walter to move in. So if you actually don't know what I am talking about, you probably should check out my LP. It's on my channel. I have 7 parts so far. As of the time I'm recording it, I have 7 parts so far, but I probably should have 7 parts so far when this is up as well but um yeah if you haven't seen it you should probably watch it watch it because I can really tell you a little bit about it this is about Eden Gardena Eden Gardena Rogers moves to Port Promise Evergreen Harbor because she grew up in San Myshudo and she really just didn't like it that much because everything was like polluted there was smog everywhere you know San Myshudo it's a city so there's so much pollution there and she heard that Port Promise needed help because some of the other places like Grimm's Quarry or Conifer Station was actually doing a little bit better than Port's Promise. And she really wanted to go and make a difference and actually use that eco-friendly um, like aspiration that she had for her life to do. So she ended up moving into Port Promise. She ended up meeting her boyfriend Kai because she did get an email or a call from someone saying that she was able to inherit some money if she got married in seven days. But I also wanted her to get married to Kai anyway. I specifically made him for the video. So I, she just kind of ran into him one day. And they ended up getting married a few days later. And they got their money. Um, they ended up just, you know, kind of living kind of opposite a little bit. Because Kai's a freegan. He likes the dumpster dive. He doesn't really like working. He does do the freelance co um, career though. Even though he does feel like a corporate sell at doing that. He knows he has to make money somehow. So he'd rather do it on his own terms kind of. So he became a freelancer, so he can work whenever he wants. Um, Eden, on the other hand, became a civil designer. And I think she's a part of the green technician part of that career. And right now she's a utilities assistant. And she's working her way up the corporate ladder. Um, they also had, they just introduced their first child, Ivy Olivia. Um, I got really excited when they when they got pregnant. Like I didn't plan on them getting pregnant so early, but it just happened by accident and I was like, ooh, I'ma keep it. But yeah, they're just living their lives and stuff and in my last part in part seven I did mention that I was really thinking about making Serenity and Walter Eden's parents move to Port Promise as a retirement as they retire because Serenity is an RN. I think she just moved up to a doctor because when Eden was giving birth to Ivy. Serenity was actually the doctor that delivered her baby, which I thought was so cool. I was like, what? You're joking. I was just like, because I was really debating on having them, you know, come to the delivery into the, because when Eden went to labor, I was like, ooh, they really should show up. But I was like, you know what? Nah, just Kai and Eden. It makes more sense. Then all of a sudden I got there and Serenity was there. Then I was like, dang, I probably should have asked Walter to come too so he could see the birth of his granddaughter, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, so Ivy just aged up to a toddler and I want her to have a, a really good relationship with her grandparents, to be honest with you. And that's kind of why I wanted them to come. Also... Kai and Eden do work a lot, even though Kai doesn't want to be a corporate seller, he knows he needs to make money for the family, and Eden shouldn't be the only breadwinner in the household. So they're working a lot, Kai's always fabricating something, and Eden's always at work, so I feel like there has to be some type of adult figure that's in the house with Ivy. So if you see the front of the house right now, actually I changed all of that because I don't know what happened, but I decided that I wanted to change it, so I went back. Oh, because I wanted to extend that house, so that got rid of all the landscaping in the front. So I had to redo all of that. I did that off camera. I didn't end up recording it because this video would have been extra long, like it's already 15 minutes long. So I wanted to record it off camera, so I redid it. So when you see it later on, you can be like, why does the house look different? I'm sorry, like, I had to change it. Excuse me. Also, I did forget to put trashes in this house for some reason. Like, there's no trash can inside or outside for some reason. 
when I first did it, when I first did the build, actually, I did put the trash can, and you see, you can see it now, like, it's out there. But I totally forgot to put it later on when I was redoing the landscaping, so that's my bad. I'll probably put the trash can in before I upload it to the gallery, to be honest with you. Um, I really like building this house. It did take me a few hours to really do it, but the thing is, it was kind of easy at first. I just had to really go through the land, um the floor plan the floor plan was the hardest part for me because i like i said i'm not much of a builder so trying to make this as functional as possible with adding the ladders and stuff because i didn't want to add stairs to this house i want to only use ladders so to get upstairs you have to climb the ladder so you can kind of see me working with the floor plan i ended up editing out a lot of the floor plan because it took me about like an hour to really figure out what i wanted to do also the furniture that you see in the house as well those are just placement furniture because i want to see where i want to put the kitchen and the living room and stuff and I kept extending like the front and stuff because, or the back because I was running out of space and I was like, let me extend it so I would have to go back outside and put the wallpaper back and stuff. But I did end up putting an extra bathroom upstairs. So if you see my LP, there's only one bathroom and that's downstairs. I put one upstairs. I actually put an extra bedroom or uh, yeah, an extra bedroom downstairs. So that's where Serenity and Walter will be living when they do move in and they room, their room is right next to Ivy's. Um... To be honest with you, I don't know what I want to do after this LP because, like, I fell in love with this family so much. So I don't know if I want to bring them into other things because I know when, like, the knitting pack comes in, I wonder if I want to make, I like, age up Ivy and kind of do what James Turner does with his rags to riches and just bring the big wallets everywhere. Maybe I can bring the Moores everywhere. Oh, by the way, their last name is Moore because Kaya's last name was Moore. But, uh, I bring the moors everywhere, you know what I mean? And just, like, Ivy be the one that does the knitting stuff. And she has her own family and stuff. I wonder. Please let me know. Because, like, I really did fall in love with this family. Even before, even though that was my first video ever on my channel. Because, obviously, the Eagle Lifestyle was the first video I ever posted on my channel. Like, I fell in love with Eden Gardena so fast. I was like, yo, this is the, this is the LP that I'm going to be posting. Also, I do the Carter Legacy on my channel as well. Which I love too. That's my legacy challenge, like full on. If you don't know about that one, you probably should watch that one too. That's about um, Anya Carter, and she's actually starting fresh because her parents was hoarders. They ended up um, they ended up dying in their hoard, sadly. While her mom was a hoarder, and they ended up dying in their hoard. So Ayana, well, I keep calling her Ayana, even though her name's Anya. But she ended up bulldozing the house, demolishing the house, and starting over. And now she's in the scientist career, trying to make her way up. She's going through life, making some mistakes, and I love it. And I love playing it. I play a lot off camera. Also with this eco lifestyle channel, um, LP, I play off camera. So each episode's a little fresh. So we're not watching the same thing over and over and over and over again. But sometimes it ends up doing that. We end up dumpster diving, fabricating a whole bunch of stuff. But it was a little refreshing to do a little more um, something different because we did a whole episode on just selling and the birth of Ivy. So that was cool. But I feel like the next episode, part 8, I'm probably going to try to do something a little different. Serenity and Walter are not moving in anytime soon, not yet. I think I won't move them in until Ivy's a child? I think? I don't know. But back to the build because I feel like we spoke. I spoke through the whole build. But I made sure I put a lot of plants in this house. Because in my head, Eden loves plants, so there's so many plants. There's plant pictures, everything. Also, there's a lot of black empowerment in this house, too. So you see a lot of um, pictures, especially downstairs, of, like, black women in it. So I, since Eden's a black woman, I think that would be perfect to, like, have that type of inspiration. So I Ivy can, like, understand that black women are important and never let anyone talk um, tell you any different. So I decided to do that a lot. This is Ivy's room. I decided to go with like the kind of pinkish reddish um, type of background. So like her bed, that's the bed that Kai did create in the game save. Obviously I just pulled it off of, um, I used the cheat BB show, um, BB dot show hidden objects. So I pulled that cheat out and I pulled out the bed that Kai actually did craft for um, I little Ivy. Also the stove and the, um, I'm sorry. Also, the stove and the um the fridge also are things that Kai found in the dumpster. So I actually did that too. I actually add that to the build as well, because I didn't want to like change it up completely and just have like new appliances and stuff. Because I was like, their stuff is still there. They just expanded. So 
as like time goes on and if they do change some stuff I'll make sure I move it into this build as well but I really did like this room I think this was probably my favorite room in the house other than the master bedroom so yeah like I added curtain just so Ivy can have a little bit of privacy but honestly I'm enjoying this LP I'm enjoying just having a gaming channel in general so if you're from my other channel I do have a lifestyle channel called Vava on there on YouTube so if I'm if you see me on there like you really can see my actual personality there too but um I just love having a gaming channel because I've been playing sims for years and I, like I just wanted to share my content with other people and this was like literally a month in so I'm honestly really enjoying it and don't plan on stopping as of right now I'm posting pretty constantly on Monday Wednesday Fridays I don't know if that's gonna be my com like my actual schedule I don't know yet but sooner or later it will but that was Ser Serenity and Walter's room. I kind of just talked over it. But it was very basic. It was like the sage color, which I really love too. The sage color is probably my favorite swatch. And out of all equal li um, equal lifestyle. Also that like that reddish pinkish thing I do like. But a lot of the house is seasons, equal lifestyle, and laundry day. I ended up adding stuff later on that were not. that As like decoration pieces and stuff. Like at first I was going to make it a limited pack. But I decided not to because I was just like, I wanted full range on using everything I wanted to use. But a lot of the stuff that are in this house is eco lifestyle, laundry day, and seasons because I felt like those go together pretty well. Because um, they do have like that rustic vibe that I was looking for as well. Also, there's no laundry in this save. Well, technically, there's no washer machine or dryer in this game. There's the wash bucket and the clothesline because it's like more eco friendly. Also, this lot is completely off the grid. You can use it off the grid and not have any problems with electricity turning off or running out of water and stuff. So I play this off the grid and I just recently turned it off the grid actually but I knew I was able to play off the grid for a while now. And that was kind of like the gold because like I was like they don't want to rely on the electric company and the, the power company and stuff so I like that a lot that they're able to work off the grid. But we're, this is the master bedroom. This is where Eden and Kai sleep. I actually really love it because it's just filled with plants and that's what like Eden would love, you know what I mean? A house just filled with plants and stuff. And I also ended up putting out this other po um, poster or paintings like that was hanging against the wall. Like there was the one with the black woman downstairs and I decided to put the other one up here because I really did like it. I like the representation in the picture so I was like, you know what, we're going to put this up here. Also I ended up cluttering this little corner with plants again because like I said, Eden loves plants and I wanted to make sure it's represented throughout the whole house you know what I mean but yeah so it's honestly it was just a really fun build to just really just make a dream home that's like for Eden because this was the home I honestly thought Eden was gonna live in to be honest with you like I knew I was gonna expand the home I didn't really know I was gonna add her family to the LP until one day I was like you know what I want to add the Rogers to the to it so I'm kind of excited that the Rogers are gonna be moving into the household with us because I feel like it will just add more people to the LP. Also, the computer that you see in there, actually, he, uh, Kai actually found out in the dumpster as well. Also, the bookshelf he made, and that's in the office as well. So I wanted to make sure I added those, and I ended up cluttering that one too. And I made a little seating area so you can read a book and stuff. And have a little lamp as well. Also, um, I think... Actually, I don't think there's much left. I think we're about to end up in the screenshots, but I hope you enjoyed this video Please like comment and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye <laughs>